Thomas Jamura for the Cleveland-based National Sports Show, giving you just a quick report um, on the Ndamukong Sioux sweepstakes, and looks like the Miami Dolphins are the winners. They get Sioux for a $114 million contract. I'll tell you what, that is a lot of money. $114 million. I mean, I just, I, when I heard that, I was in shock. I mean, listen, J.J. Watt, I think J.J. Watt's obviously, um, I mean, J.J. Watt is a better player than Adamic and Sue, but it really just shows you how, how these leagues, the NBA, the MLB, and now we see with the NFL, how the leagues just keep on getting more money to throw at these guys. And it's a good thing for the league. I mean, I'll give credit to Roger Goodell. He's screwed up basically everything but getting money into the league. That is the one thing that he has been good with, and this is the result. You see, guys, if guys are getting big contracts like this, if guys like Ndamukong and Sue, who's a great player, but if a guy like Ndamukong and Sue gets, what, the biggest contract and uh, the biggest contract for a defensive player ever, 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 if you see these guys getting these contracts, it means the league's going good, that the money's coming in. And, I mean, even if the public support isn't there, when the money is coming in, the league is going good. And I hate to say it, but that's the truth. I'm not a Goodell fan, but this just shows you um, what this, how the league is getting better with this stuff. How the league is getting better in regards to market value and stuff like this. I mean, Peyton Manning's get, getting paid, like, what? $15 million a year? Adama Kinsu is getting paid $19 million. I saw a tweet uh, from Believe. I could just check out my Twitter. By the way, follow me at CBNS Show. Um... Just checking the Twitter, um, let's see, uh, Andrew Siciliano, yeah, he, he tweeted out that Sue is worth $19 million a year, and Peyton Manning, is, Peyton Manning is getting paid $15 million. so that's an interesting point, and of course, you have a guy, and then you got ESPN, they tweeted out, showed up on my Twitter feed, that since Ndamukong and Sue, I'll give them credit for this stat, since Ndamukong and Sue entered the NFL in 2010, where he ranks first in sacks and disrupted dropbacks, third in tackles, among defensive tackles. The man is a great player, an outstanding player, and it just shows you how the league is getting, is getting better, and they can throw out these big contracts now. So obviously, giving props to Ndamukong and Sue, he earned this contract, certainly. It's a lot of money. I mean, I'm not sure that maybe in a, a couple of years he won't be worth $19 million just the way football players take a beating. He might break down, but at, right now I think he's well worth the money. And for the Dolphins, who keep on, shows how players just love Miami, I guess, or just maybe they, maybe they just love the money. But Mike Wallace and Dominic and Sue, they're getting free agents. And I know that we say that, you know, the guys who are making moves in February February are, aren't usually... Um, in the Super Bowl contention come January, December. But you know what? The Dolphins are winning free agency so far. Landing a guy like Sue, obviously taking a cap hit, but well, well, uh, good job to the Dolphins for getting this guy. I, I, th I thought the Browns should get him, but I guess it would have been a too big of a cap hit for a team that, I mean, the Browns don't even have a quarterback, so... I mean, I guess the Dolphins, they already got Tannehill. I think they, do they have him locked up? I'm not sure. Yeah, you could check up on that. But yeah, good job to the Dolphins. Just good job to uh, Dominic and Sue. And the NFL just keeps on getting richer. And so do the players. So thanks for watching my quick video. Follow me at CBN Ashok. Of course, I got a weekly podcast. My last one was roughly an hour long. It was, it's pretty good stuff. So just signing off. I just got to tell you, check out CBNSnetwork.com. For more sports info, and that's all I gotta say.